What's up, everyone? I have a question that I went and did some research on. I was wondering how many people really save one million for their retirement, and you're not alone. You know, having an account balance as far as one million as a marking point is really hard. And in accordance to the Employee Benefit Research Institute, an estimated of 3.2% Americans have $1 million or more in their retirement account. And how much retirement saving Americans have in their accounts? They, according to the survey, they have about 58.4% of Americans have less than $10,000 in their savings account. And between... 10,000 and 999,099 is 20% tile. And then from 100K to 400 or $500,000, they have about 13%. And between 500,000 to 1 million is 4%. And between 1 million and 4.9 million, it's only 3.1%. And for $5 million or more, it's less than 0.01%. So, if you are looking at your retirement account and wonder, hey, how can I boost my savings? The best thing to do is to start now. If you are not retired or there's still time to put money in there, the sooner you do it, the better off you'll be. So, there's no guarantee that what the stock market return will be. But you have to try to do your best to put away money because money, you need money to in the stock market to grow to even get to these numbers. If you're wanting $1 million, you have to start now and contribute. It takes time for this growth. Now, don't worry if you're age 50 or older, there's something called make up catch up or make catch up contribution in your 401k and IRA. It allows you to put an extra 75% hundred a year of your annual income and the third thing you need to make sure you really do if you're not at 50 or older to take a part of the additional savings you can put into there sign up for your employee match that's one of the best things you can do is your employee match contribution is free money it doubles your money for whatever they agree to Put it there. Now, these numbers are for the 3.5 million or 5 million. Don't worry about it if you didn't hit these numbers. I was just interested. How many people actually hit 1 million? You know, that's a really hard number. And 1 million might not be enough for your retirement. This is just, you know, what people would think, hey, I have 1 million, it's enough to retire. You know, 1 million, you get roughly about 400K a year if you do the 4% rule. And is that enough for retirement? Most people, it will not be enough. But it's better than nothing. Some people will complain, hey, 1 million is not enough. I'm just not going to save for retirement. That's a bad, bad idea. So retirement is very important to save. And those are some of my tricks I would tell people to do is sign up or start now. You know, use the make up catch up contribution if you're above 50 and sign up for your employee match contribution. You know, that employee match contribution will help you. And just because you're not one of the top earners like the top 10 percentile, that makes, you know, 390,000 according to the American or the survey they did for our top earners. The survey of consumer finance. It's all right. You can always increase your income other ways. So here's a couple of tips to increase your earnings. You could ask for a raise. But before you ask for a raise, you have to give them a good enough reason to give you a raise. So some of the re you can't just go to your boss and be like, 
I deserve a raise now because I work ex extra hard. Well, you know how many people will go into their boss's office and say, I deserve a raise? I used to get that all the time. I deserve a raise. But then I caught him a week before playing video games. Well, you have to go to your boss like playing chess. If you want a raise, you want a promotion, you're going to have to ask them, what can I do for you to get me this position? And what qualities do I need to get this position? You start asking questions. How can I get this position? How can I get the, a raise instead of demanding it? You're more likely to be able to get the raise you need. And don't go at your employers with, you know, I need this now or I'm going to quit. Don't threaten your employers. Threatening your employers really don't do you anything. It just makes a very uncomfortable workplace. And they're going to probably start thinking about to, to be honest, to replace you. You don't want to sit there in that situation where they would be thinking about replacing you. Number two, you can actually start a side hustle. You know, you can start selling things on eBay. I was having a conversation yesterday about someone, his wife was a stay-at-home mom and said, hey, she can't find remote work from home. She doesn't try. What can I do? And I, and I went through the list through them. I said, hey, can she sell stuff online? on eBay, on Etsy, and his first answer is, yeah, she can easily do that. Well, there's the answer. She can sell stuff online. And he's like, how do I attain stuff? All the time on Facebook Market, on these offer up, there's free stuff for sale, there's or free stuff online, there's pickup on the curbside. Just the other day, I found a pool table on the side of the road in my neighborhood and I told someone to come pick it up and they did and then put it in their garage and put it on for sale and they made 800 bucks for selling that pool table and all they did was drive over there put it in the back of their truck and made 800 bucks they sold it that day you can start you know and I also told him, hey, why don't she do Etsy and be creative, make jewelry or anything like that? And she found a perfect idea for her. She went and found a chance that other people don't have. She had friends and family in India that can get a cheap um, product for beauty supply. She's said uh, she was very big into it and they're making a pretty de decent income from selling beauty supply it's not like two three hundred thousand a year but she makes fifty sixty thousand dollars a year selling beauty supply on ebay and etsy and these are name brand products that are made in india and she just happened to know where to get them cheaper so she just got you know the opportunity that she didn't even know she could take you know, that, that's a really good side income. Now, if you can't do that and you don't have any other option, you can't do Etsy, you can't do um, eBay, you can't resell stuff, There, you just don't have the time and effort to do it, that you can do um, online assistance like Fiverr, um, you can do consultant gigs. There's plenty of opportunities online. You just have to find what you are good at. And if you are telling yourself, I'm just a barber, I just cut hair, you know, you can cut people hair on the side. And you keep telling yourself, hey, I just don't have time. To be honest, it's all about time management. And you'd be surprised how much time you actually have available a lot of people just go home and watch tv a lot of people don't actually do anything when they get home they just sit there and relax saying i have a hard day at work you know if you're trying to get yourself in a better position you kind of have to kind of struggle a little bit and put yourself in a position to make the money to make the opportunity to come there so if you like these type of videos please like and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more